Welcome to The Word. I'm Prince Ripapat. Joining me today in studio is Jamel Hill. Also joining us from Los Angeles is Shelly Smith. So today's topic is about the success of women in this year's Olympics. At the 2012 London Games, for the first time ever in Olympic history, the U.S. had more female athletes than men, the American women won more gold medals than the men, and it was the first time ever that every sport in every country was represented by a female athlete. Shelly, what does this mean in terms of the women and sports? Well, it means Title IX is working, and that's a great, a great thing, and the women were great. But here's my problem with all this. What are the stories that we're going to remember most from these Olympics? It's going to be Gabby Douglas's hair. It's going to be Lolo Jones's um, virginity. It's going to be a cat fight. It's going to be uh, things that, you know, we shouldn't be remembering when we have that kind of uh, performance from the women athletes. There's still a long, long way to go, and almost... You know, we say to these girls, go out and work hard, but then, you know, four years, you do, you're, you're wonderful, you're magnificent, but we don't like your hair, and we don't like the fact that your family is bankrupt, and we don't like um, the way you do this. It's just, it's a tough message to send to young women who work very hard for four years to come back and try to do it again. Shelly, you're such a pessimist. I was going to say, I'm like, this is good, especially the, uh, earlier in the year when we celebrate the 40-year anniversary of Title IX. Jamel? Yeah, I'm going I'm to choose to look at this uh, from a more optimistic standpoint, though I do agree with Shelly. I mean, certainly one of the, the major kind of storylines that came out of this is that it is difficult being a female athlete, because uh, as women everywhere can attest to, you have to be everything to everyone. And we certainly saw some examples of that. But I think that this just means... Uh, not only uh, something important about the growth of women's sport, the growth of how female athletes are respected, uh, but also just the difference in how women uh, take the Olympics versus men. Like, I realize every Olympic athlete uh, is there to try to win that golden prize of a gold medal, but I think for women, um, and I know I'm generalizing here, it does mean a little bit more because there are examples of, of male athletes, like the NBA team, for example. They're going to go back to being heroes and making a whole lot of money and being global superstars after the games. They don't need the games. But you look at uh, other sports where the women, they really do need that platform uh, to expose not only their sport, but always also a little bit about themselves and their storyline. So it, it seems like I, I think for women, uh, this stage just means a little bit more than it does for men, and that's reflected in the medal count. You talk about that platform and, the, and LeBron James and that team, they go back to being the big stars in that spotlight. So the, question, the next question I have, Shelly, although times have changed, where do their careers go from here, talking about the female athletes? Back to the gym. Back to the gym, and in four years, we'll write about you again. It's really not a great next step for these young women athletes who work so hard. There really is no place to go unless they go overseas to play basketball. There might be a gymnastics barnstorming tour, but that may last six months. It's still, there's still a long, long way to go, and I just think that we have to change as a society before that's going to change, and I just don't see that happening anytime soon. Yeah, that is the, the downside of all this, as much as I point out, pointed out some of the more optimistic storylines. The, the, that's the truth. Um, is that you think the, just because there's more opportunities for the professional athletes, the male athletes out there, that this is the reason why we're seeing a growth? In oh, absolutely. And, and unfortunately for a lot of these women, uh, you have to ask yourself, like, who will we who will we remember six months from now? Will Gabby Douglas still be the apple of America's eye at that point, or will we have moved on to something else? The women's soccer team is a perfect example. Uh, professional women's soccer just just for whatever reason, hasn't been able to work here. So it's like they have that platform, and then, boom, it's nothing. So uh, like Shelly, unfortunately, uh, I'm a little more pessimistic about that, and I would like to see women get more professional opportunities. But I I'm not going to deny them what they earned. They were definitely, for me, the story of the Olympics. Shelly, do you have a response to Jamel? Well, you know, I <laughs> kind of a, you know, you know me, cynical. Um, <laughs> It makes all, you know, the badminton scandal where the women were cheating. Right. You know, I kind of like that. You know, I kind of like we've, that's how far we've come. <laughs> you know, don't talk about my hair, but if I'm cheating, go right ahead. And I, maybe badminton becomes the next popular sport. Why can't we talk about badminton and, and hair? Why can't we talk about both? That's such a that's bad a really thing. really good point. Really good <laughs> Well, yeah, at the end of the day, the total medal count for the women, 58 to the men's 40, talking about the American, and their gold medal count, 27 to the men's 17. Not bad. Lisa walking away with the gold. All right, that's going to do it for this edition of The Word. A big thanks to Shelly Smith for joining us from Los Angeles. And Shelly, we love your cynicism. We love it. <laughs> uh, and you can keep the discussion going on Twitter. Just search hashtag ESPNWTheWord and give us your opinion because your word counts. 
A big, a big thanks to Shelly Smith and Jamel Hill. I'm Prince Ripipat. We'll see you guys next time.